Well, it's that time of year, everybody. Are you seeing them too? Monarchs, monarchs, monarchs. I can't even believe these guys fly to Mexico. Look at this one, so fresh. So beautiful. We've been watching the skies and how high they go sometimes to move is really quite incredible. Catching these breezes heading south. And they love to stop on this plant. I've done a video on this one in the past and it just remains a favorite. It's an annual that we plant here, Mexican sunflower. Some years we have a lot better luck with germination and growth and this year we only have the one. And it's not super happy. You can see we had to stake it up, but obviously still producing a lot of what these monarchs are after. This is also called torch and we always get the red one. It's just really a showstopper plant. And it doesn't really self sow here, probably because the seeds are so delicious and the finches will eat them just like they will from the sunflower right there. That monarch's coming back in. So before I walked over here, there were three in here and several in the golden rods, always on the golden rods and the New England asters and then the tall plant in the meadow, which I'll do a video on at a different point, is Drusum artichoke, and they're also using that one. And that's an edible for people, so we love to grow that one, and it smells really good too. But check this out. Wow, what a bloom. The colors are so great. I mean, it's pretty much a bright orange and gold and green, and that's one of my favorite combos ever. If any of you know our house, you know that it's a lot like this. We could have went a little more orangey on our doors instead of red and it would have been just like this plant. So the hummingbirds come in here a lot too on this plant and they've been zipping around everywhere. Last night we sat on the hill just north of our house. It's really just the tiniest hill you can imagine, but it provides a good view of the sky. And we watched nighthawks and green darner, dragonflies, and monarchs all moving south. Oh, and chimney swifts. And wandering glider <laughs> dragonflies. Don't forget anyone. The warblers are moving. The skies are full, everybody, even though we can't see them. Right now, I know it's too washed out up there, but there's at least five, maybe six or seven turkey vultures. And then yes, every night filled with songbirds. We're all sleeping in all these songbirds. All of these insects are moving as long as the conditions allow. Miraculous. Don't think it's not happening around you. You just got to go watch and wait. That's what we keep doing. So we're sending good luck to these monarchs to make it all the way to Mexico. And we still maintain what we did before, which is recommend planting Mexican sunflower or torch, an annual, not a native to here, but one that is very, very loved these <laughs> orange monsters. Oh yeah, monsters is an endearment term. We have a friend that uses that a lot. So, okay everybody, we hope that your migration is visible to you and if you've not taken time yet, go 